Hello, this is Myra Elaine from the Vine Space Channel. It is Monday, Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth, everyone. And for those of you that don't know, the slaves were freed on Juneteenth in 1865. And that's why we celebrate today that all the slaves in the United States were free on Juneteenth. Just FYI for those of you that are still wondering what Juneteenth is. And that happened in Texas. And it happened after some of the other slaves were freed. Because the slaves should have been free when Abraham Lincoln recited the Emancipation Proclamation. But they didn't have cell phones. They didn't have computers. The only way news could travel was word of mouth. They did have teletype and they did have newspapers, but the people in control of the newspapers and the teletype and the media then were the white people who did not spread the word to the African Americans to let them know that slavery had ended. They continued to use them as slaves even after the Emancipation Proclamation was declared and they had oppressed African Americans to the point where they wouldn't allow them to read. So even if they saw a newspaper, they would have been able to tell that they were free. So it uh, just added, to me, it would have added insult to injury to know that you should have been free um, for, but way before that, and nobody told you. So they finally uh, found out and were freed in Texas um, later in 1865. So that's the story of Juneteenth. If you want more details, I'll put a link in my description below of, you know, all the details. And tomorrow is West Virginia Day. And West Virginia became a state on June 20th, 1863. And during the Civil War, the Confederate States rebelled against the Union and made their own nation for a little while because they wanted slavery. Well, Virginia was a large state and they treated the people in the western part of their state, in Western, western Virginia, very poorly. They had um, little representation in the capital of Virginia. So, and Virginia became a Confederate state. And what happened was the uh, people of West Virginia rebelled against the rebels and they were the only state to succeed from the Confederacy. They wanted their liberty too. So cheers to liberty and equality and freedom today on Juneteenth. And tomorrow on West Virginia Day, where West Virginia turns 160. So the first mail call package I'm going to show you is from Lisa Raven, who is in West Virginia. She puts this nice little thank you sticker with a smiley face or thank you with a smiley face. I hope you will be very happy. Lisa, I have every intention of being very happy with what's in here. Matter of fact, I have to open what's in here secretively because this is a gift. Thank you so much for helping me do my shopping. And here we have, this is from Lisa, Flippin' Crazy. She always sends her merchandise in beautiful uh, green and blue and teal envelopes. I really appreciate you, Lisa. I really have a lot of fun at Lisa's auctions. And, you know, you put in a code word uh, for what you want. And you don't always get what you want, but you always, always get eclectic and neat things at Lisa's auction. And this is from Nana Tings. And Nana provides a wide variety of products and she's a snowbird and sometimes she's in uh, up north and sometimes she's here in Florida so 
I love going to her auctions right before she's flipping to another state because almost always she has wonderful prices. Sometimes she'll sell, she's got a special item, she'll sell it at retail, but almost all of her items are way below retail. And when she's getting ready to move, to do that snowbird thing, when it's getting ready to be winter and she leaves her home from up north and comes to Florida, her prices drop drastically, like crazy low prices. And then when she does the opposite, she's leaving Florida and going up north because it's about to get too hot here in Florida, crazy low prices again. So I love shopping and then I think she has uh, auctions on Tuesday and Thursday with Victoria and this is from Victoria and when I buy from Victoria I'm buying locally and let me show you her dress <gasps> guess what Victoria and I both have post office box this way do it folks get yourself a post office box that way you don't have to worry about your privacy you don't have to worry about I don't know Larry showing up at your door <laughs> or anybody else <laughs> But I wanted to also share this music. I'm using background music on some of my videos. I am not um, all that enthusiastic about getting copyright claims. Oh, this is going into a commercial, so I'm glad I muted it. I'm trying to get... this more button to work but this is the relaxed movement is the name of the channel and they provide duty-free music and um, almost always when you use duty-free music you have to um, you have to say that you don't own the music Maybe once the ads are gone, it will go to the more. But some of the uh, channels want you to put the name of the cut on your video description too. Well, it's not going to work. So, <laughs> but this I have this down here in the floor to pay, play the background music that's duty free. Or it says on here in the description, uh, copyright free. And it's 12 hours. So I definitely put the channel name. I definitely put that I am not a magic, 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 musician. I did not create the music. I don't have the rights to the music in my description. And I sometimes forget what channel I use because I will post an unboxing video and then I'll go back and I'm like, oh gosh, what channel did I use? So I'm being very cautious about this. My cousin, Mark Dolan, who attended Juilliard School of Music, gave me permission to use his music in my background. But And I put that in the description, but every single solitary time I've used his music in the background, well, almost every single solitary time, I get a copyright claim, even though I have permission to use his music. Let me find his channel. I've been wanting to talk to you all about my background music for a minute. This tablet's not signed in, so. Let's see if I can find him real quick. Oh, well, there's some news anchor named Mark Dolan, too. So it may not be. Wow, there's several Mark Dolans. 
Well, I will put his uh, channel in the description. This tablet is not signed in to any account. Uh, it's an older version. I do a video about this tablet too. It's an older version. But anyway, I hope you all are looking forward to unboxing. I will put my cousin's music link in the description and I'll also put the link to the duty free music I've actually used in this particular video and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day and a happy Juneteenth and remember West Virginia Day tomorrow because it's they are West Virginia is a separate state has been since 1863 and they're the only state that rebelled against the rebels so they're Rebels of rebels. They're like the anti-hero. <laughs> but they're the heroes because they left the Confederacy and joined the Union during the Civil War. And not a lot of people know that. And I get really, really tight when people say Western Virginia. Like West Virginia is not another state. For 160 years tomorrow... It's been a separate state, y'all. So please say West Virginia, not Western Virginia. And please don't say Virginia for West Virginia. We left Virginia behind. Sorry. And it was not a friendly separation or divorce. But it happened. And um, we could all be over that now. As long as you all remember, it's West Virginia not Virginia, in that entire other state up there near Ohio. <laughs> Again, have a wonderful, blessed day and a happy Juneteenth. And uh, let's remember history so it is not repeated. Thank you.